So then once you have that, oh, I forgot the main ingredient. You're gonna need a shoelace. Guys, you're gonna need a shoelace. So, okay y'all, so my last video was a fail. Um, but I got out of the shower and I'm like, you know what? I'm not wasting this day. I'm gonna film a video today. I'm not wasting this day. So I'm gonna film a video doing a tutorial. Well, you already read the title, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a high poof. If you know me, you know that's always how I wear my hair. Mainly because I'm lazy. Secondly, because it's easy, and thirdly, because I'm lazy. Oh, and then fourthly, because it's cute. You can do your edges. You know, you could really see. I like it because you could really like pay attention to see your edges with the poof, like with the poof, like up here. Anyways. So, yeah, so what you're going to need to do the high puff is a clean head. So, wash your hair. I literally just got out the shower from washing my hair real good. I had, I'm not even going to go over what just happened and how much of a fail that video was. I'm not even going to tell you guys because you're not going to know. Yeah, you're not going to know. Anyway, so, um, you're going to need some type of, like, moisturizer, oil, Whatever you put in your hair just to keep your hair like moisturized, you're going to need some gel, some eco gel. This one is empty, so I'm using my travel size coconut eco gel. You're going to need a brush, um, an edge, an edge brush. And then my favorite thing to use on my edges. Well, honestly, it's starting to drift. I'm not sure. I'm gonna show you guys the competition. So, in competition is, I use this sometimes on my edges. It's by, Eden Body Works and it's Control Edge Glaze and it has like coconut and shea butter in it and then my favorite like what I've been using the most lately I've had the Eden one for the longest but what I've been using the most lately is this So Real uh, Focus is this So Real Edge Silk y'all this So Real Edge Silk my hair, when I do my edges, it just curls back up. And so I don't honestly don't know what the people on Instagram do. Because even like if I do it and then tie it down, and I'm like, okay, well, let's take a picture. By the time I get ready to take a picture, like my edges would be like curled up. Like I literally have to take a picture as soon as I take the scarf off or my edges are going to curl up. And that makes me upset because I did all that work on my edges and now nobody can see them. But um, this one, it like... It works, it has its days, it has its days. So depending on the day, um, I can use this. Like if I know it's a chill day, it's kind of cool outside, I won't be sweating, I'm not be doing much, then I might use this um, coconut edge control and it smells really good. And then on my hard day since it's summer probably, which is why I've been using this the most, I use it so real. But y'all have to get this so real, it's bomb. Okay, so. Look at all the things that you're going to need. Oh, and lastly, what you're going to need is some water. If your hair is like mine, oh child. Yeah, if your hair is like mine, you're going to need some water. Anyways, so what I do first, of course, is moisturize my hair. It's literally nothing in my hair right now. I just got out of the, the shower. And I rinsed all the conditioner and everything out. So I'm gonna put some. You know, I always well, let's read the instructions. I always wonder what they say in the instructions. Do they have instructions? Apply as a no rinse moisturizer and styling cream to damp towel dry hair as needed. Oh, see, Shea Moisture is cool. A lot of them they like. Um, apply a dime size amount like girl I don't need no dime size amount you know how much conditioner I need for this you know how much I'm gonna need for my hair like girl and I'm gonna need more you know let's just okay comment down below if this how much conditioner you need on your hair I might need more for real my hair is real thick y'all 
I will put the grade in the title, but I honestly don't know what. Look, that literally didn't do nothing. I would put a grade, like people always put like 4C hair, 3C hair, 4A hair, and I don't know what kind of hair I got. I think it's like a mix of like a 4B and a 4C because it's not, I don't think my hair is like 4C, 4C because like I looked up a grade scale and I was just looking and I'm like, mm -hmm. so I couldn't tell y'all what type of hair I have. My hair is really soft. Um, it's hard to manage. I don't know. I don't know what kind of hair I have. I'll figure it out. So I'm just putting in enough to where I feel like all my hair has got the love. Okay, so now that I have that all through my hair, I look like I just got ran over by a tractor. Anyways, so now that we have the moisturizer in here, you can put this to the side. And then next, what you're gonna need is you're gonna get a brush and ear gel. Why do I keep picking that empty bottle of gel? Wow. Today is all over the place, it was meant to get failed. How did I just almost break my nail, then drop the gel on my foot in one video, in one second? Anyways, so you're going to grab your gel, and I'm not going to lie, I use a lot of gel too, just because uh, I feel like I need to. Um, and I know you guys are wondering, like, what, gel? Yeah, okay, I don't comb my hair out, because when I comb my hair out, my puff looks like it's blow like a blow-dry puff, and that's not the style I personally like if you like your hair looking like a blow dry puff then you can do that but I like what my puff is with my like has my natural curls um and then also just combing your hair out isn't really good because it can break your hair off so I normally just brush my hair up in a puff you can see all my natural curls like right after the water it doesn't mess up any of your curls like I know some people they wash their hair and they're like oh my god I love my curls and they do their hair and they're like my curls are gone it's because you're combing your curls out and Personally, for me, I don't like that look on myself. Oh my gosh, shut up. Okay, anyways, I forgot to tell y'all that I co also comb my hair out in the shower, so just that whole instant of combing your hair out is going to break your hair out and also dry your hair out. So if you do it once in the shower, you're fine. I like when my hair still looks like wet. And yes, you can spray it, but to me, when I do that and still spray it, they're still not the same curls for some reason. But that's maybe just me. Don't know. So next what I do is I grab my gel. And this is kind of hard. I never did this on video. Um, and I grab like a full amount of gel, put my hair to the front. I do the back first just because I care about how the top looks more than the back, I'm not gonna lie. So I put some gel in the back. I just lay it like all across my hair like that. And so once you feel like you have enough like all on the back of your hair not on you don't have to put it all in the back I'll put it at the bottom and then once you put it at the bottom you'll grab your brush and then you'll brush it from the bottom to the top so that way the gel smooths out to the top part of your hair and also the brush helps like to lay your hair down like the eco gel mixed with the brush it helps to lay your hair down if you're thinking like well you didn't comb it out your hair is gonna be like thick in the back it's not gonna be a slick ponytail it will Okay, and then once you feel like the back looks fine, then you flip to the front, grab some more gel, and then apply it across your hair. I apply it so like carefully just because I want to make sure that, well I'm really, I really like my hair when it's slick, so if I, I feel like if I just go like that, it's not really getting like all the pieces of hair. So I'd rather put it on like that and brush it in the direction that I want my hair to go in rather than sliding it across and my hair is going to the side. And so once I do that, 
then you grab your brush, obviously. So then once you have that, oh, I forgot the main ingredient. You're gonna need a shoelace. Guys, you're gonna need a shoelace. So then you grab your shoelace and flip your hair to the back because again, that's the part that you want to make sure it's laid. So you'll wrap it around the front. I find it easier when I wrap it around the front rather than wrapping it this way. Just because the shoelace is so long. I mean, you could cut your shoelace, but I like it at the end. It's easier to, um, to pull your hair. So I wrap it around the front, put it over my ears, and then at the back, you're gonna cross it. Okay, so once you've crossed it, you start, you push it up a little bit with your, the back of your finger, the, with, what are these called? With your thumb, <laughs> you push it up a little bit and then you push this back just so it could get on your scalp and then it starts sliding. So then you pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, wherever you want it. I like mine's kind of high, so I pull it to the top, as you can see. So I pull it to the top and once it's where I kind of want it, I like it right here, I'll fix the poof after. This is just kind of where I like my puff. And so, once you're done with that, you'll just wrap it around. I'm really superstitious on this, like my hairs. Once you wrap it around, you have like some hair still loose and you wanna make sure you're not tangling like any of the hairs that's still out in your puff with the shoelace. So I go around and just make sure I pull my hair out before I tighten the shoelace. And then once you have a little bit left, you're just gonna tie it. I don't do the shoelace tie, I do just like a regular double knot. And then if I have like some string left over after the double knot, then I'm sorry y'all, these nails are hard. Okay, so then once you have it tied, you can see like the extra shoelace right here. And so all I do is wrap it around and then I tuck it in the shoelace that's already um, there. So then you can fluff your bun how you want. Fluff your bun how you want. I like mine kind of like that. Oh my god, what is that for? Yeah, so I like it kind of like full. Um, and then don't mind that, y'all. I can't tuck it in with these nails. I gotta get somebody to do it. But this is how I like my puffs. Okay, so now that you have your hair formed and you have your shoelaces tucked in on the side, um, you keep it kind of like how you was calling me. Stop calling me like. <sighs> so, anyways, now that you have your shoelaces tucked and your hair is up in the puff, now it's the fun part. So you grab your edge tool. Does anybody use this part? Let me know if you. So what I like to do when I do my edges is, hope you guys can see. I just go like this and wherever I went, either if I wanna do one swoop, another swoop, and then my sideburns, then I'll just go all the way down. Um, but sometimes I'm, I'm like in a rush, so I just do this one swoop right here, this one swoop right here, and then my edges. So what I do is I take the brush part and then I just, brush like backwards and then as you can see when I'm brushing backwards all my baby hairs are just coming out and so that's what I use for my edges <laughs> I don't like make a part and then I just uh, you know you know so I take that and then you're gonna get your So I'm just applying the edge silk, um, the silver roll edge silk to my baby hairs and it's swoop time boot. And so I just swoop my hair. I comb it out a little bit just to get the product mixed in. Oop, oh, wrong swoop. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Let's <laughs> let's try this again. And swoop. Swoop. 
Look better. Okay. Swoop. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, so then now I'm moving on to my sideburns. Oh, I should be a baton tomorrow. But y'all see that? Y'all see that? Anyways, I do the same thing that I did for my edges at the top. I just brush backwards to get my sideburns. And then I'm going to take the silver again. Look for the silver. I'm never getting built again, y'all. And then I'm going to put the silver on my sideburns, just like I did my edges. And y'all kind of catch the drift. I like my edge. I like I like the sideburns that are like the kind of like smooth, like that. Yeah, yeah. There you go. One more time for the measures. There we go. Y'all I'm lazy as hell. Y'all see how I was just sitting there like breathing hard as hell. I'm really lazy. Anyways, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So I'm gonna skip this because I don't want to see the shit twice. And that is the end of my poop tutorial. Ooh, working my head, working my head. Yes, boo, working my head. Ooh, look at my big, oh my god, my head look like a submarine. Anyways, okay, working my head. Okay, that's enough. Can we get the bag a different angle? Ooh, 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 lower, lower, lower. Go back, go back, go back, back to here. Ooh, okay, okay, that's enough. Oh, oh she doesn't stop. Okay, this cringy scene is reminding me of that one ugly bald head girl that be always taking pictures and thinking she cute but she knows she bald head and ugly yeah that's me bald head skin widow ain't got no hair in the back or the middle <laughs> anyways like this video um subscribe to my channel and comment down below uh, i don't know what the fuck one two three me i don't know what the fuck uh, anyways bye y'all i love y'all peace out <laughs>